Hey, this is Gleb from the future. Just before you watch this video, I wanted to mention. You probably noticed that the videos didn't come out in a long, long while. The thing is, in Korea it was raining the whole month. And then because I'm doing things outside, I'm really tied to the weather. And if it rains, I can't do much, unfortunately. Now, as you see, it's very nice again. So the videos are going to come out more frequently. A lot more frequently, actually, because I have now a lot of free time available to do this so yeah and then just a quick peek we will be done soon hopefully so enough said now to the video enjoy now let's go to the next step very exciting one okay something exciting that is going to happen now which i just mentioned is it's time to glue on the fretboard and I figured out I might do a mini tutorial on how to do the fretboard or at least the way I do it. To make this happen you will need glue, good glue, I'm using tight bond, uh, glue spreader or some card, you will need masking tape and a cutter or a scalpel to cut this masking tape. You will also, oh, you will need your fretboard, obviously, and you will need the little things, the fretboard locating pins, which we made, I think, in the previous video, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, go back, watch it, it's an interesting process. Okay, what you will also need is a lot of clamps. I don't know, if you have 10, bring 10, if you have 20, bring 20, you'll need all of them and you will need something to clamp the fretboard with not to damage it i'm going to be using these radius blocks uh, one is 12 inch radius and another one is 16 but it doesn't really matter it could be something flat as well but they work perfectly so let's get to it uh, the first thing that we will need to do is uh, we will need to put in our truss rod. Before you glue on the fretboard, make sure your truss rod is installed. Glue the fretboard on without the truss rod, this would be a disaster. Like, you know, as bad as it gets in guitar building. So make sure it's in there, it's a nice tight fit, it's not moving, it's not going anywhere. Now we will need the masking tape to protect it from the glue. So what I'm going to do now is just take this masking tape and I'll just mask it. Simple as that. Make sure I'm nice and straight. Okay. Now that's good. I just want to cut it with a cutter. Okay. So now I might take maybe a card to make sure that the tape has a very nice fit. Just to make sure it's there. Okay, that's all good. Now we don't really need this much, so it's a very wide masking tape. So I'm going to cut the excess of the size of it using this ruler as a guide. So here we might, I don't know, cut something like here and remove the excess, this little part. Same on this side. Oh, it's actually good here. Now along the length. Okay, so now our truss rod is covered, is covered and we will not have much glue 
going inside the truss rod cavity. You know, we don't really want that. We want it to be really flexible uh, because in guitars, the truss rod makes the adjustment of the neck of the guitar possible. So you want your neck of the guitar to be straight, you know, most of the time or for my playing style. And this blue thing, it allows for, you know, these kind of or these kind of adjustments. So you make bow or, you know, inverse bow. So all these adjustments, they can be made with this little blue thing. And, you know, having a guitar without it would be probably impossible. So it basically, what it does is, uh, so you have strings on your guitar and the truss rod, it's, it's like counterweight for the strings. This is the way to think about it. Okay. Now that's all good. Next step is to you know, just to make sure we have the locating pins in the correct positions. I'm going to put them in. Okay, the locating pins are in the correct place. Now we are free to remove the fretboard and just put it aside for now. Okay. Uh, now there is nothing else to say or nothing else to do. It's time to glue it. So glue, glue spreader, clamps. So I'll just remove the things that I don't need for now so that I don't damage them with the glue. Okay. Well, we are good to go. Let's glue it in place. Okay, that seems to be good enough. Taking our fretboard and putting it in place. Okay, and thanks to our locating pins, the fretboard is exactly where it should be. Okay, let's clamp it up. So put the 16 inch radius over here and the 12 inch radius over here. Clamp it. Then, as I mentioned before, there is no thing such as too many clamps. So we got it to this stage. Let me show it to you a bit closer. Oh, it's been, oh, it's been 15 minutes of doing this. So you see now the glue starts starting to pour in from the sides and now is the best time to remove it because when it sets, it's really hard to remove. So I'm planning to go back with uh, something like, I don't know, uh, wet tissue maybe and to remove all of it. So I'll remove it and I will be right back. Because I forgot to bring some wet tissue 
Ah, stupid me. We brought some wet tissue. Let's clean this mess. So this is a water-based glue, that's why from the, with the help of the wet tissue I can kind of successfully remove it. Okay, it's a bit harder on this side because there are clamps happening all over the place. Okay, so let me show you the result. You see everything that was leaking out? I now removed it. Whew, okay. So I just ran back, came in with one more tissue and cleaned this baby really well. And it became so heavy. I mean, oof. Oh, oh. It's really, really heavy now. But uh, I think we'll call it a day for today. Uh, it's been very productive. A few really nice things have been done. And now that we've glued the fretboard on the neck, tomorrow and tomorrow morning or something, we can take the clamps off and we can start shaping the neck. Thank you for being here today. And <clears throat> see you tomorrow or whenever the video comes out. <laughs>